Welcome to another Trackmania Turbo Trackmaster tutorial. Today we're featuring number 38. It's still with the F1 car, but as y'all can see here, sort of kind of the track layout is completely different. Harder or not, well, let's just get into it and see, but I think y'all can see it is indeed a dandy, completely different. To start off, it immediately starts you out in a loop, which means your view automatically changes as well. I don't like this. In my opinion, it shouldn't fix you to a view. If you want to try it in another view, you should be allowed to do that. But nonetheless, that's how it is, at least with PlayStation 4. So you're stuck to this view. It's easily full throttle, though. Just stay in the middle. It's not too hard once you know how to do these. That's just practice. Stay in the middle there, so that way you're most stable for the boost pads. And then it resets you to the default view that you're in. This turn, just get on the apex easy enough turn, as y'all can see there, it's barely any angle. And you definitely want to stay on the apex, because then you're at the most outside for the next turn, that's sort of an actual turn, there's a bit of skill on that one. But as long as you were on the outside to begin with that turn, you're pretty easily going to get that turn made without hitting anything. But you want to try to stay as inside as possible for that turn, so that way you have as much of an angle for the next turn. That turn actually isn't all that hard, but you still want to take it good so you can do the next turn, which is hard. Because honestly, I hit that wall probably more times than not. It's doable, again, as long as you kind of do the strategy that I just said, you make it. But that's one of those things that just because of this one section, you kind of have to think four turns ahead really you can kind of naturally do it with a rhythm so there's not all that much thinking once you got it down but that is one of those if you mess up slightly two turns before it's going to be there where it ends up actually haunting you but if you get that right you can continue on fine and just get stable by the time you're to this next section because this is not just a like a roller coaster thing like that previous section was this is a complete loop and it also has even less grip than that roller coaster thing on the roller coaster type surface that magnet like locks you into it so you don't fall off this you can both fall off and it's a lot harder to keep control as y'all can see there i was even sweeping a bit on that but luck luckily the finish line's right after that so as long as you make it through that without hitting anything and you have it lined up decently well. You can be a bit to the left, a bit to the right. As long as you're not all the way there, you're going to make it to the finish line. So this one, it's more of just getting the rhythm down and making sure you stay stable. Which is sort of like the others, but this one, it's not really an immediate correlation to if you mess up. It may actually mess up your total lap. It's kind of down the line. But either way, this one's really not the easiest, not the hardest, but it is sort of kind of different in the aspect I just said. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this, learned some from it, and this one I was decent at. Again, first in Kentucky. So yeah, that's worth a yee-haw.